policies should be people centric yes we have problems and they need to be resolved all i'm saying is that whenever whatever policies are kind of you know uh, framed the concerns of the com person must also be kept inside it's not just the perception me and you we all feel the pinch and it's very very hard already i think it's not wise to test the patience of people at this point when they are already in so much you see the stabilization stabilization policies implemented under imf supervision are poised to exacerbate the already challenging circumstances for the people of the country with its stagnant incomes and a mounting cost of living citizens are already struggling to maintain their current living standard broad outline of the economic road map shared by fm finance minister aurangzeb khan leave no room for doubt that pakistanis must prepare for further economic hardship for them stabilization policy could potentially translate into increase in the gas and electricity bills higher prices for petrol and diesel elevated income tax rates and end of exemption escalating commodity prices as the government price control diminishes and subsidies to farmers are reduced then limited prospects for wage salary increases amid restricted job opportunities as the rate of public investment falls with reduced size of psdp and adps in an in an environment where the private sector is already reluctant throughout my adult life spanning since 1980s i have witnessed a recurring pattern in pakistan's economic policies each time the country embarked on stabilization measures the government implored the populace to endure short term economic hardships for promised long term gains however during the subsequent uh, periods of economic growth the benefits have been disproportionately distributed favoring the elite while leaving the common man marginalized this is skewed wealth distribution trend has persisted across various growth phases in the country whether it be 1960 1980s or 2000s leading to widespread discontent and the forced exit of rulers during those periods our economic history highlights the fallacy of assuming equitable trickle down of growth policies in my view rather than blindly adhering to outdated notions a democratic government should and must prioritize the well-being of its people it's imperative for such a government to demonstrate empathy towards the challenges faced by citizens not merely professing concerns but actually taking taking visible measures to alleviate their burden the policies should be people centric yes we have problems and they need to be resolved but they should be resolved in a way that it doesn't add the burden of already crushed country has real problems we have twin twin deficits fiscal and current account deficit and a very huge debt burden so they need to be dealt all i'm saying is that whenever whatever policies are kind of you know uh, frame the concerns of the common person must also be kept inside it's not just the perception me and you we all feel the pinch and it's very very hard already i think it's not wise to test the patience of people at this point when they are already in so much trouble.